I got hacked. And it's completely my fault. I connected a computer to the internet, I didn't secure it properly, and I got hacked. And the only reason I knew I got hacked was because of a trap that I set and they fell for it. This is known as a honeypot and you should set one up on your system. It only takes a few minutes and is 100% free. The scary thing is that legit companies are using the same techniques right now. So I'm gonna show you how to stop that, but more on that shortly. You see, these hackers are really good at what they do. They can be in your system for weeks without leaving a single trace. So what we do is we set up a trap. The idea is to purposefully leave something that's so juicy and so attractive to scammers and to hackers that they absolutely need to get a hold of it. And when they do, you get an alert. It's like a silent alarm that they've just activated. Let me just show you how to do this. Right, head over to canarytokens.org forward slash generate and you see this drop down menu. Here is where you select your tokens. Now there are a whole bunch, like a web token, a DNS, AWS, a even Microsoft Word and Excel. And if you scroll further down, the one that we're interested in is called the Windows folder. Be notified when a Windows folder is browsed in Windows Explorer. So let's click on that. Next thing is gonna ask for the email address, just put that in there and then give it a description, folder on desktop or wherever you're gonna place your folder and then click the button to create a Canary token. Within a couple of seconds, you'll see this pop up. Download your zip file. And basically you unzip this file in a folder and get notified when somebody browses that folder in your Windows Explorer. So click on that little zip file that opens here. Simply open up that zip file. And you see it says my documents. Let me just drag that out of the zip and then put it onto my desktop. And then I'm gonna right click on that, choose rename, and then I'm gonna give it a very, very cool name like password list or rename it to something else that is super, super attractive like confidential info. Everybody wants that information. And I'm gonna leave it kind of surreptitiously on the desktop and then hopefully nobody will browse to it. But if they do, you're gonna get notified. So let's open up the folder and look, there's nothing in it. Okay, so somebody clicks on it, there's nothing in it and you're gonna close that down. But look what actually happens. We're gonna go back to the Canary tokens and at the top, it's called manage this token. Click on that and you can see here, this has been triggered four times. Click on view history and ta-da, you got the date, the IP address, and the kind of channel. And in fact, if you open up each individual one of those hits, you're gonna get a whole bunch of information on the person that actually opened up that folder. How friggin' epic is this? But we're not done yet. We're gonna go back to select your token, and we're gonna click on that drop-down list. And now you can see here you get a whole bunch of options like we had before, and we're gonna scroll down until we're gonna see something called a fast redirect get an alert when this URL is visited. Same thing, put in the email address and then put a reminder when this token is triggered. We're gonna call it banking or bank website. This is just for us to know when we get this alert in the future in our email. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in a website. It could be any website. So I'm gonna put in my YouTube channel. So youtube.com forward slash Liron Segev and I'm gonna click on create my Canary token. And now I've got this URL. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna copy that. I am then gonna to go to my desktop. So let's minimize this, go to the desktop, right click, new, shortcut, paste in that URL that we've just copied. Click on next. Let's give it a cool name, something like bank info, something that's super attractive for a hacker or a scammer. Click on finish and there it is on the desktop. And then I will again leave it lying around. If anybody ever opens this up, you can see it just simply redirects them to my YouTube channel or whatever website you've chosen. And as same as before, click on manage this token. And now you can see this has already been triggered. Click on the history. And now you can see two clicks and you can go in all the information, same as before. So you leave these things lying around. That's the honey part. And you want people to be able to click on it. And when they do, you're gonna get this amazing email alert in your inbox so that you know that something is up and you need to do something ASAP. Now, in the event that the hackers got into your system and you deleted a whole bunch of files before you had an opportunity to stop them, don't worry. Let me show you how you can get those files back easily with a tool called Search and Recover by Iola, who are today's sponsors. So this is the System Mechanic Ultimate Defense, which I've been using for a while. What I do is I go into the toolbox and I see Search and Recover. What a cool tool. 
Now, essentially, it's pretty darn simple. Search location, you can basically put the drop down and select whether it's an external drive, an internal drive, a flash drive, it could be a memory card from your camera, basically anything. Save recovery files, well, where do you wanna save the recovery files? I just simply choose a folder on my desktop. Now, there are two options. There's the smart scan, which essentially eliminates irrelevant and useless junk files from being searched, basically making it a lot faster. Or you can go for the deeper search, which is the strong scan, and that looks at on a sector level search. Now this is gonna take a lot longer, but it's gonna be worth it to recover all those glorious files which have been deleted. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna select both, and then let's just give this a go. Now, due to the magic of video editing, I can fast forward the recovery process, and ta-da! So let's select them all, choose recover selected files, Wait a couple of seconds, and this really doesn't take too long. And it's going to basically dump all those files into the folder that we previously selected. So there they are. These are images, and they're all totally usable. If I double click on this little hub, you see it pops up. I even got my PowerPoint presentation. I think this is the talk I gave at VidCon. Yep, so I must have saved it on this USB stick and then deleted it. Links to this will be in the description. You also get a special discount if you use the link below. And before I leave, I'm just gonna let it run a quick optimization on my system to make sure I'm always optimized with the System Mechanic Ultimate Defense, and yes, I am. Now, here's the thing. It's not only hackers who use the system. Legit companies use a similar token systems all the time. Obviously, not to get your personal information, but to know that you've got their email from them. So even if you don't click on their lovely email offers, just by getting it and just by being in your inbox and you hovering over that email, you are tripping that silent alarm. They're getting to get a whole bunch of information on you, which is not cool. And speaking of not cool, I just noticed that 90% of people watching this channel actually haven't taken that split second to hit that subscribe button. If you've ever got any value out of my videos, please hit that subscribe button because you're epic and we wanna get to that 1 million milestones. Okay, now that you've done that, let me show you how you can stop companies from getting information about you. You have to make sure that whatever program you're using to read your email has the option to stop images from loading automatically. You see, companies are sneaky and they've used hidden images that are typically like one pixel by one pixel in size and are white or transparent, so you don't even know that they're inside the email. The moment the email lands in your inbox and you hover over it, it automatically downloads all the images, that token gets activated and they get this information about you automatically. Now, if you use Google or Outlook, I've got some links in the description so that you know how to stop images from loading automatically. If you're using a Another email client or program, just Google how to stop images from loading automatically with blank and then put whatever program you're using. Now let's grab our privacy back and stop companies from tracking us online and you can do that by watching this video here with a whole bunch of free tools. Hit the head down here to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in these videos. Let's go.